Good morning, it's Tuesday the 25th of July and it's a beautiful sunny day although in the UK we've been warned that the next month is going to be rain, sun, the only way you're going to be able to tell the weather is look out of the window so hopefully if you're anywhere else in the world you've got some really nice weather that's not too hot, not too cold and your fingers won't go numb so you can do lots of writing. So today I'm going to set you a little challenge. I've got a four day challenge for you. Four days. Um, quite short so you can fit the four days in over the next week. Um, I've already launched now my email management tips. So you've got no excuse to not want to go on your computer. Your inbox should be managed now. You should be on top of all your notifications. So you shouldn't have any more excuses about, oh, I've got to do all this email. So that's one thing. I've also launched my time management tips. So no more procrastinating, no more excuses that I don't have time in my day. Because if you take some of those tips or all of them, you should have definitely been able to carve out maybe 30 minutes, an hour, even more if you're lucky, um, to write. So my hashtag 1000 writers is obviously to get 1000 people over 50 writing this year. And you've now got no excuses because I've given you some tips already. So as part of my four day sort of challenge, what I'd like you to do is start writing if you haven't already. Some people have, some people are maybe putting it off a little bit, possibly because of fear, which don't be scared because you can do it. I know you can. It's easy. Just have faith that you can do it. So if you know that you've got a book in you, whether it be a biography or a history book or something about your family tree, it could be anything. It could be a thriller or a vampire novel or unicorns, whatever your passion is. If you know that you've got that book in you, then start writing. I can't say anything else. Just start writing. I will be giving some tips and I'll give some sort of guidance in more detail about how to actually start writing a novel and how to put it together and all the different elements to it. But there are a lot of books out there that you can find. But also just sit down and start writing. Get some ideas on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be anything flash or anything final, but just get some ideas down, whether that be bullet points or a mind map or just some photographs from Google of people that you think will inspire you, who look like your characters, that type of thing. But get some words on the page, because if you don't, you'll never start. So start today. Make a promise to yourself that you're going to start today. If you're one of the people who I know are out there who just really want to write, but just don't know where to start, it can be quite daunting. So I did a degree and it was in literature. And at the beginning of my course, I really didn't know what I was doing. And it was quite scary to sort of, you know, the lecturer would sit at the beginning of the class and say, right, do this. And you'd be like, oh, I can't do that. But half an hour later, you, you don't want to stop writing. You're really busy. So once you start, you can carry on. So to kickstart that process, I've got my four day challenge. So day one, what I'd like you to do is write one page of text, and I don't mean on a computer with a really big font to cheat, but in either an A4 notepad, or it can be on a computer, but choose a reasonably sized font that's going to actually challenge you a little bit. And what I'd like you to do on the first page is to describe a place. So maybe somewhere you like, somewhere you don't like, it could be where you're physically sat at the moment, somewhere that you've been that really resonated with you or somewhere that you've been that actually you didn't think that much about. It, you were doing something else and the place itself didn't occur to you. So what I'd like you to think about is the sounds and the smells and the physical sort of ambiance of the room, if it is a room, but write a whole page about a place. And what you need to do is set up some sort of filing system, if you like, for your writing. So you can either index it in your journal or save it in a particular folder on your computer. Because all of these things that you're doing now all build up your portfolio and you might dip into those later when you're writing a novel or a poem or whatever you choose to write. So don't waste all these notes that you're writing because you can look back on them and you'll be surprised how much you've improved but also how much you can steal from those ideas. So that's day one.
is peasy. It'd be nice on the Facebook group if you could just go in. I don't expect you to paste the whole text and I prefer you not to do that really because I want you to protect your own intellectual property rights on it, which means I don't want somebody else to take your work. Um, not that that'll happen in our group, but it, Facebook tends to own things that you've put on there. So try not to post everything, but maybe just one paragraph or a little explanation of the place that you've chosen and why you've chosen it. That'd be really good to help other people see that there are people out there going through the same struggles and we can support each other. So that's day one. Day two, and I do want you to leave a day and you can carry on writing lots of stuff, but I'd like you to leave each one for a day. So the next day, day two, I'd like you to write about an event in your life, um, a real one. Um, it can be something really trivial or something really that impacted the whole of your personality and your well-being so a, a sort of an event in your life and on this time I'd like to sort of concentrate on the emotions that how did it make you feel so try and get used to writing about emotion it can be very difficult and I can't write emotive text and very personal text if I know that somebody else is in the room I just prefer to have my door shut and my screen so that I know nobody can else can see. If you're in a busy household, that can be really difficult, and I know that. It might be that you just have to find your own space with your headphones and just, you know, hide in a little corner or something. Or you might be perfectly happy to write all your emotions down. Not a problem. So that's day two. So that's a, an event in your life, concentrating on your emotions at the time. Day three. Um... This can be quite funny. I'd like you to describe somebody that you don't like. Not somebody that you like, somebody you don't like. Try and explain sort of why you don't like that person. Don't name them, please. Just call them Mr X or something, I don't know. And if you know somebody called Mr X, call them Mrs Y. Um, but sort of the physical presence of that person... Were they somebody who got in your space or were they somebody that you saw at a distance and that you've never actually talked to? Sometimes you find in real life that there's people that you don't like that later you really bond with. It's odd how that sometimes works. But concentrate this time on somebody that you really don't like and sort of the interaction that you had with that person and their presence and things like that. So that's day three. Day four. Um, I'd like you to bring all three of those elements. So that day one was the place. Day two was an event and day three was the person. And I'd like you to bring those three elements together on day four and write either a poem, a limerick, a rhyme, a piece of poetry or a piece of prose, in other words, just writing. Um, no more than a page, but bringing those three elements together. So it'll sort of challenge you because I don't want you to put necessarily the person in the place where you met them. If you imagine when you're dreaming, I, well, I dream a lot and I eat cheese in the evening and I dream even more, it's crazy. But quite often in dreams, you'll have different people in different places that don't match and it, it sort of throws you off a little bit because you're like, oh, you know, you might see your high school teacher at your job 20 years later or you might go to a sports event and bump into a member of your family who hates sport, that type of thing. So it might be a bit challenging, but that's the whole point that you need to think about it. It can be lighthearted, it can be deep, it can be fantasy, whatever, but put those three elements together. Um, and again, just I'd just like you to post something in the Facebook group, just confirming sort of why you came up with that idea and whether it stimulated any more thoughts and want, made you want to carry on creating that story or whether you just thought, I really can't do this. You could pick a genre, you could make it a thriller or something like that, but you've only got one page, so nothing major, but it's just going to get you used to describing place, people and emotions, scent, smells, all that. And that will add depth to your writing later on. So that's your challenge if you choose to accept it. And if not, I won't self-destruct, so it's not a problem. If you don't like the challenge, again, go in the Facebook group and just explain why you felt it wasn't appropriate or what you found difficult, maybe what you found easy. You might find that you can describe somebody you don't like really well, but you struggled sort of explaining why a place meant something to you. So that'd be really helpful if you go in the group. And again, we can all share ideas and sort of sound, e sound bite off each other. Um, 
so that's my challenge if you choose to accept it and then just to end this vlog i've got my three point challenge create nourish share which i do every day and i'm hoping that you might sort of take that up as well so creating and um, i've got some short stories as I said earlier, you know, you want to keep all your little pieces of work because you might dip into them later. And I've put quite a lot into a folder just called short stories where I've done some, where there were exams, somewhere I've just written stuff and then got bored. Or I've done a personal challenge where I've just sat down with my journal when I've been on holiday and just tried to write something. And I've got quite a lot and I thought I might actually publish it as a short story collection. So at the moment, I'm just going through that and tidying it up. Some are really rubbish. So they're just going in an archive file. I'm not deleting them because I might come back to them. Um, so um, that's my create for today. My nourish. Um, Every now and again, I have a day where I just tidy up all the loose ends and it's really rewarding. So I got up early, had my walk in the fresh air, took some things to the rubbish tip, sorted out lots of little things like, you know, where you've left a button off a shirt and where you've left a piece of paper that you need to file somewhere. I've had a day tidying up all loose ends and it makes me feel sort of really energised because I've not got something nagging at me at the back going, oh, you really must move that off the bottom of the stairs or whatever so that's my nourish that I just feel a little bit more empowered and a little bit freer today and then my share um I finished a book earlier on and I've put my review on Goodreads I don't know if you've heard of Goodreads it's a website where you can register all the books that you're reading or you want to read you can sort of follow authors link up with other writers I'm on there so I'm happy for you to join me you can see what other people are recommending books that type of thing read reviews and um, it's a really sociable website and it's ideal for people who want to write because there's a lot you can widen your scope of reading by just dipping in there and having a look so that's my share today that I've done and obviously I'm making this vlog as well so that's it for today I've given you the four day challenge which I really hope that you'll take part in you've got a full week to do it but four days out of those seven and I will chat to you in a week or so okay so have a lovely day pick your pen up do some writing go and get a cup of tea make 10 minutes no excuses and I'll catch you later